Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we've got the X-Star EP9. A lot of people were asking about this for years. People said, hey, are you going to review an X-Star? I'm at the range now and these were my first shots with this. Now this is not my pistol. This belongs to my friend Evan and he allowed me to review it. It's currently selling for $449 so it's a bargain. It does have a polymer frame primarily a, a polymer gun with an SB brace and then the sights the flip up sights were added extra a big bonus with this is AR light controls and Glock mags people love Glock mags and that's what this offers side charger rail throughout uh, angle foregrip was added extra and I said AR light controls here we have the bolt release and the safety as well as the magazine release i've got a couple more here let's go ahead and take a few more shots let's take a closer look at this x-star ep9 short lightweight nine millimeter sub gun that many people love it is budget priced at 449 now it was 419 but it was raised $30. Come standard with this SB brace. It's called an SOB brace, works just fine. The owner changed out this grip for a Magpul grip. Okay, you can do that because it does have AR light controls. Here's the thumb safety, the bolt release. You'll see on the other side, the mag releases the, in the same place as ARs. Glock mags, it does come with this P mag. Hold 17 rounds and of course it'll accept the 33 round Glock mags as well. It does not come with this angled foregrip, but it does come with a rail that allows you to put an angled foregrip right here that is a good touch, especially with that hand stop being such a short firearm. And you'll have to add some optics, okay? Regular flip up sights here, but a nice red dot, the co witness would suit this perfectly. It does come with a flash hider, one half by 28 threads. And that's nice if you want to shoot this suppressed but it is lightweight you can see it does have a side charger there right and you hold that the bolt does lock back with the last shot and then of course the bolt release right there very familiar with ar-15s if we look on the other side here we'll see that the mag release is right there and once again big time advantage with glock magazines does come with this handguard pretty standard rail on top there's a closer look at the flash hider and then the sb brace also a quick detach sling mount could go there single point sling would work perfectly with this setup now i mentioned it is a polymer frame and i think that's what is keeping the price down on this is it the best way to go no but it's the most affordable way to go i had a a polymer lower on an AR once it worked just fine and I honestly don't have a problem with it but the mag Z release is right there as I mentioned and then the trigger the nice trigger let me go ahead and, you know nothing special but just your standard trigger uh, you know that that functions I mean it just works so what you're getting here is a nine millimeter sub gun that just works it runs it it's less expensive you know i would not put it to the degree or the higher degree i should say with my ruger pc charger you know that happens to offer more but for a budget nine millimeter sub gun with a six and a half inch barrel i don't even know that i mentioned that yet six and a half inch barrel and the brace included you throw an optic on there get some glock mags either keep the grip or change it out you know it offers that flexibility and here you have the xdar ep9 and you know so far i've run steel case through it i've run brass through it and it performed very well even when i backed up to 40 yards i was able to hit the target took a little bit of sighting in to see where exactly it's hitting on that front post but overall it's real fine and it's a nice hit nice i was gonna say handgun it's a nice nine millimeter pistol for a budget price 449 i think that is really good
Disassembling the EP9 is real easy. It does have that pin right there. Just push it through, pull it out the other way, break it open, and it just comes apart just like that. Couldn't be easier. And then the bolt, just take that side charger, push it up, pull the bolt out, clean it up. Real simple process. And then to put it back together, this will just fit into place. Let's see if I can do this while holding it together. There it is. And then push that pin through. It's kind of a tight puzzle putting it back together, but overall the process is pretty simple. And once you get it once, you'll have it probably forever. So there it is, the X-Star EP9. Cool little nine millimeter sub gun for a budget price. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.